Hey there game makers and welcome back to the first of four videos. The fourth is actually optional, this is a little bit advanced content of making a small mini tower defense game. And what do we need for a tower defense? Well, a conga line of enemies and then things or towers are here, houses which are shooting and then some bullets and then well that's pretty much it and then, of course we need to solve the mystery how we can actually redirect uh, or make this kind of uh, walking in this specific path uh, possible spoiler it's not pathfinding we just make it with an easier system which is stupidly effective so you can actually have uh, thousands of these guys running in the conga line and it wouldn't tax the performance much to be honest so therefore Ah, sweet. So, let's without further ado. Oh, just one thing before we start. Um, this uh, project will be free to use and abuse. The graphics are free to use and abuse. Also, this is all CC3 or CC0. So, once again, um, there will be a link for on my itch.io page. You can just download it and use it and uh, do whatever you like with it. So, if you just want to check out the whole project. So, a little... Uh, spoiler from my side. Alright, so if you want to join me on this small little journey of four videos, then stick around. This is One Up Indie. I am a developer, so if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel? Of course. Alright, so how does it work? So let's make this a little bit of a preparation recording goody so basically what do we need we need a spawner which is here this tower then it will spawn these trolls or whatever we assign and then um, they need to walk kind of along the path and how do we actually do this kind of easy we just have instances like these guys here with the arrow and then once our dude here symbolized with the red uh, box as its bounding box once we're hitting um, this thing which has its bounding box so assigned just to this red area then boing and then it just says like hey your direction has been changed now downwards which is 270 before if you're going to the right it was a zero and then of course if we are going to the left we flip the image x scale and that's pretty much what we do that's it this is the whole magic and um it's kind of really resource effective because um, we assign our instances just the sprite and then maybe two variables inside like HP and its internal speed value that's pretty much it nothing going on here so therefore super super efficient and of course then you can advance it to your liking and that's pretty much the whole magic and if you're thinking oh, wait a minute why are there two versions well let's say you come from the left go to the right then it makes sense to bump in at this specific point and then go down but let's say you come from the left to the right if you use the same thing here and you need to go down that's not working so therefore we need this thing here if you go here and then we're hitting on this specific spot and this is um, why we have let's say four directions as an arrow as instances times two because have each uh, depending from which side you are coming from and that's how the whole magic works that's pretty much it super easy peasy stuff so let's go into the code so the first thing which we need to do is have an enemy uh, object enemy create it here uh, we just give it a sprite and then let's give it the peak <laughs> and then basically nothing is happening here close all that and then uh, we just spawn it where well in the spawner so object spawner let's make this bigger and then let's give it a nice sprite also and then we just place our spawner instance here of course you can have multiple ones this is then up to you how you want to have it but here I guess the easiest way is just have one and then uh, let the guys walk around here so what do we do here kind of easy we just have a create event and an alarm event and then what do we do well we just loop the alarm so how do we do this well by 
creating a variable. I don't know, 120. And well, set this to the alarm. So after two seconds, the alarm would be triggered. And then we say like, hey, two seconds, trigger it again, trigger it again. And this is how we create kind of a loop, a delayed loop, of course. And then later on, we can actually change this variable to spawn more or less. And what we do, well, actually, once the alarm has been triggered, we want to create something. So instance create, then on its X and Y on the same layer. And then we just create our object enemy, which we set up here. And we want to give it a little bit more of control. So we say inst, and then we just give it a nice uh, starting party gift or whatever you want to call that and just say like hey speed set it to 0.4 normally in tower defense games you have a small value because most of them they are pretty uh, slow but of course you can set it up the way you like this is then up to you and then for good measure but we don't actually have to do this direction and set it to zero but just by default zero but hey why not and then i already placed it sweet Let's start that thing. Uh, is it working? Is it working? Yes. And we got some happy pigs running from uh, left to the right because we set the direction to the right and then we gave it a speed value. And of course, it's just animating. And then uh, we create a farm simulation as it seems. But that is, of course, not good enough. So how do we do the redirection? It's kind of easy. So once again, uh, our sprites which are here, as you can see, eight. And then just for good measure, so collision event, I set it to manual, and then only on the red spot. And then we just face, um, have uh, one parent redirect object. Where are you? Uh, here we go. And this thing has two modes so basically first of all we have a collision with our object enemy so because uh, when it's colliding then we want to do something with it and it has a create event get out get away where we say like hey where we want to redirect and this variable is for all these children because this is how the children are so here they're already in here so children they are inheriting all that stuff and then, for example, if you just go in one, we just say, hey, event inherited. And then we just apply a different kind of direction. So here, this one says like, hey, we are going down. So we set this variable direction downwards. And then uh, we say universally for all uh, well, the redirect children direction so we say other so this thing which we're colliding with this is the enemy is set to this one variable and then uh, we just face plant these things magically in here <laughs> sorry i'm a little bit lazy in this kind of regard i thought like hey do you want to watch me placing all these things i wouldn't watch that myself so therefore i said like hey we don't need that so we just place these uh, redirect things where we need them at the well, points where we are changing the direction. Boom, we are face planting them. So we're just planting them on the thing. And once again, uh, the create event has this one variable where we want to redirect. So for example, here 180, that means it's going to the left. Let's check if this is correct. Yes, this is going to the left. And then because we're going to the left, we just flip the image X scale which we do also. So here, other. Image, uh, no, yes. Set to another variable, which is getting, um, is defaulted as one, because then it looks normal. But of course, just for the left dudes, we say like, hey, additionally, change the image X scale to minus one, because we want to have the effect. Of course, if you have sprites which are pointing up and left and right and so on, then use those. This is just for 
so it looks a little bit nicer but of course we don't have to do that and let's start it again and then we are pretty much finished with this video because uh easy peasy stuff so as you can see our happy pigs are going to the right boom and then they're going downwards because we changed the direction and here by collision we change also the image x scale but here of course this is just for the left one or the other ones have the scale set to one this variable and then therefore um we are just pointing to the right that's pretty much it we have created instantly in 10 minutes at less our conga line and that is how the whole magic works so here once again hopefully you could follow me um if this was a little too fast well, no problem link in the description below on the itch.io page you can just download it uh for your leisure uh, all the graphics everything is free uh, to use and abuse of course the project also then see you in the next one have a good one one up indie